Assalamu alaikum Hey there guys welcome back to another quick tutorial and in this video I'll be showing how to install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation 12 and actually I'm using VMware Workstation 12 that's why I'll be showing that but the method can be used to install Kali Linux or any Linux on any virtual platform like VirtualBox as well or VMware Workstation 10 or any other version so it's simple and other than that it's not about the ISO file you can actually have an image and in within one minute you can have the installation you don't need to go through the installation steps and all those difficult things you only need to copy the file just set the file and you're good to go so let's get started okay for this we will need two things one is the virtual box you can use any but for me I will be using VMware workstation 12 and the other is the image file for Kali Linux or any Linux you want okay so I already have downloaded and set up all the things I will put the links for you guys in the description uh, or you can search for yourself as well for image you can search like uh, I need Kali Linux so I search it like uh, Kali 2 image file for VMware or you can search for any other but from this case I got this and after searching I got uh, this page this is their official website I guess office in offensive security dot com whatever so you will have these links okay now this is 64 with 32 bit it's like different versions but I will recommend to download this one it's actually uh, 2 gigabytes and the best thing you can actually download it via torrent or just directly by IDM okay I already have it after downloading you will get actually 7-zip file so this is the version I guess no this is actually yeah this is the one okay so it's 2 gigabytes as you can see or here after extraction you will get about 10 gigabytes now I already have extracted or here and by the way you can extract it anywhere you want but you don't after installation everything you cannot move it around because it will mess the settings and you will get error so that's why just select your path and extract it for once and you are done okay so this is the file 7 zip and I extract it over here so you, after extraction you will have like a bunch of these files VMX and everything so we are done with the extraction and downloading of the image file this is actually the image file okay the second thing you need to VMware workstation and by the way if you are not using VMware like I said you can use the method for any virtual platform so if you want uh, virtual box and install the Kali Linux on virtual box so you, instead of searching image for VMware you can have uh, for virtual box and the best thing you can have um, multiple options or here like for this this these versions uh, these images is for VMware if you are using VirtualBox so you can select this one Kali Linux VirtualBox images so you can have VirtualBox images as well and Hyper-V which is the default virtual platform on Windows you can, so you can have that as well now, but I will recommend VMware it's kind of easy and I think supportive much better than the virtual box so that's why so you are good to go you need to VMware workstation and the image file okay so now the second thing is you need to open VMware workstation I'll put the link in description for VMware workstation full version like uh, I have keygen for it and if you can search for yourself that will be good but anyway I will put the link in description for both the images and VMware okay so after installation you will actually get these thing uh, this is sort of the menu is simple you need uh, open a virtual machine you need to click this one now if you are using another version so don't worry you will actually get same options like for these two is confirm you will get actually these one and uh, for the rest you may get different one but we need to deal with these two okay so you need to click on open a virtual machine okay once you got this browse menu you need to tab for the extracted files where you have extracted for my case I extracted over here programs and the documents and VM and this is the folder now you will get this VMX file you okay so you need to click this file this is actually the configuration file of VMware image so you need to click this one okay double click it and it will open it okay you will get this tab a bunch of device memories and these options don't mess with this uh, and if you want to mess it you can just click edit virtual machine settings like for example if you want to increase the memory like for me I have 4 gigabytes so I've got 2 gigabytes for the Kali and 2 gigabytes for the 
windows and if you are like having 8 gigabytes and you want to give 4 gigabytes to virtual machine so you can edit the settings okay just click on edit and from here you can actually go with the settings how much you want to give the RAM memory to it okay so for me 2 gigabytes is quite good and I am good to go so the last thing is you need to click power on this virtual machine okay click okay uh, for the first time you will see this thing so you need to click uh, I copied it you can click this one it's not a big deal and just wait for it okay this is just removal disk settings okay here you click ok this is kind of installation whatever so don't worry for your case it's ok ok the installation is done now the username the default username is root and the password is to T double O R okay it's actually the inverse of root and click sign in you can ch change it later on from the preferences settings but the default is root and to remember that there we go we got our Linux on virtual machine and one more thing if you click on the screen and you can use all the tools over here like these tools and other tools and if you want to return to the main screen for this case I'm not having that issue there's not an issue but when you click on the virtual machine screen so the mouse mouse the cursor actually is like uh, preserved for this screen and you cannot um, go beyond these uh, boundaries or window you can say for some versions like uh, I have experienced this in VMware Workstation 12 uh, not 12 10 actually so once you enter it you cannot easily just go outside of it you cannot click this minimize and everything so for that if you got that issue you can click on uh, press actually control and alt and you you can actually see this message in the left bottom you can see over here to return to your computer press control plus alt so this is basically what i was talking about and yeah that's all for this tutorial this is how you install Kali Linux on VMware Workstation 12 and you can use Kali Linux whatever the tools you want in it and to shut down you can actually go from here or the simple method is just click on this tab and you will see this power off and here you need to click power off and you're good to go and just click on power off there we go and you can cancel it well that's all for you guys you only need the VMware then the image for the operating system which you want so for this case we used Kali Linux image and VMware Workstation 12 just, we just opened the virtual machine configuration file and we got our Kali Linux on VMware Workstation that's all you need to do hope you like it and please subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and I will see you in the next video with more tricks and tutorials Allah Hafiz